uh, March 3rd, I believe it is. I think so. I think we might have had a little exclusive preview of his new EP, which is very good. Absolutely. So, uh, can't wait to hear from it. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm just reading it. I, I texted Mike. He says, uh, goes, too much pet shop voice for me. I, I, I can say this because I'm not hosting uh, Ella, Laugh My Ass Off Out Loud. Well, guess what, Mike? I'm saying it for you. <laughs> <laughs> we should get him on the line. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure if he's we running an hour late. We should, yeah. we would definitely I'm, not sure if, I'm not sure if he's got Skype or not, but uh, there you go, Mike. And he knows we're just playing with him. So, um, oh, I love that guy. Oh man, there's this happened the other day. It's some, some like gold, gold phrasing, Cecile. <laughs> so, no, as you know, I work at the airport. So the area we're in, it's where a crew comes to that that sort of thing. So. You know, we're doing a little bit of searching, and she has to do something. I'm not going to know specifics, but she's like, she goes, Cecile says, she goes, I just, I just, I just can't seem to get in the hole. It's like, oh my god, phrasing. <laughs> like, I, I, I looked like right, and I was like, phrasing, Cecile, phrasing. <laughs> and I you know, and, and it was funny because you know the the, the the crew member picked up on it too, and it was it was, it was a big show. It was really funny because this is like five thirty in the morning, right? So, but we all you want a good lap. I was like, oh my god, phrasing, Cecile, phrasing. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, exactly. And just amazing phrasing. <laughs> well, it's just it's just like like I we have to put together some time. Like, know that the top ten things you sh you, you shouldn't see in a first date. And number one, awesome threesome. You know? <laughs> 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 yeah, that was a good one. But it, it's, I mean, I've gone through so much and there, there's, there's so many good ones, right? And it's so hard to pick it out. And I got to kind of, kind of, kind of fast forward through them to find it, kind of find the different spots. Cause I don't know them off by heart, but either way, oh, it, it'll, it'll come around eventually. So our hours next, and hours of work as well, well. That's right. I mean, it'll be worth it in the end, but you know, so uh, <laughs> next song up is a brand new one from Kodachrome and their new album comes out in April and I pre-ordered the vinyl. So as a thank you, Alyssa and Ryan, who I've interviewed, Alyssa, even to listen, Ryan, for their first for their first Coco EP and the second EP. Unfortunately, Ryan was a little bit under weather, so I interviewed Alyssa. But uh, we'll be having them on again once the album comes out in April. So Definitely. they're a lot of fun. They're from Brooklyn, New York, and they were always a good time. And uh, Alyssa is uh, and Ryan are great people, so it'll be fun to talk to them what they've done over the past few years because they've really progressed from the last EP we talked about, which was called Perla. And it's available on their band camp. So. That's a great EP as well. Yeah, exactly. And then um, Aftermath was the last full length, uh, full length album. And when I asked Alyssa for it, I was, I was essentially just asking for uh, a, a, a digital copy. So I was like, I was like, no, if it's not too much, ask, can I ask for, for a copy? He's like, oh, cool. I was like, right on. I was like, yeah, no problem. I was like, it's been a digital copy. And then like a week later, I get a final mail. I was like, man, this is, fucking amazing like this is awesome like <laughs> like thank you so much I was not expecting that in the least bit at all so that was amazing so they like i said not just because of that but they're great people so it was also yeah. in the final so that's why like, you know what i am pre-ordering the next final against one on vinyl as well because i love it yeah definitely i love that it was like when uh indeed sent us that vinyl yes. just before christmas exactly like, a, i mean what a great what an amazing thing to do what a nice thing to do as well and but we just, will Speaking of which, we'll be having them on the show as well. I got, I got to check my, my, uh, my message because I was uh, talking with Marcus. So, um, oh, that should be right around the time. Not, it's probably I think it's going to be not too long after John Magnuson. Cool, nice. So, and then we need to get Stu on from Premium Blend again. Well, I, well, for the first time, and yeah. So we'll get it all worked in there. So next up, we have Kodachrome with. A new song called Think of the Children. Dig this.
Right on. That was a new Code of Chrome song called Think of the Children. And that was an awesome tune. And I can't wait for the album to come out. And once I do, we'll definitely be playing it. And uh, I've already uh, told Alyssa that uh, we're gonna definitely going to do an, an uh, interview with them as well. So, uh, yeah, that's an awesome tune. I always love their new stuff. <clears throat> Great band. Mate, that was just <clears throat> sex. It was It was electric. It was sexy electric. <laughs> it was just, uh, there was something about that groove that was so nice and mellow. And again, like I would argue there's a bluesy influence in there. Do you know what I mean? Right. <clears throat> just the, 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 the way, I don't know if it's just because of the pentatonic thing or maybe mm-hmm. I'm completely off, but I'm just hearing it and everything. But it just felt, felt like it had that going on. Lyrically, I thought it was excellent. Vocally, I thought it was excellent. It's just a great, great tune. I'm really, really looking forward to hearing the rest of that album because I don't think I've heard anything apart from that track from memory. And, and this, did they send us one more? I can't remember now. Um, um, but I want to hear the rest. No, that's the only one for now. Um, it was just that one, wasn't it? Yeah, well, because yeah. we had, we had um, OU2 was the last one they gave us. Of course, yeah, 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 which was which was awesome, um, partly because it was an awesome tune, and partly because of the way you introduced it. Yeah. Oh, oh you geez. too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, they're quality, aren't they? They're such a good band. Yeah, exactly. So, um, <laughs> Mike uh, G is trying to figure out Skype here. I know on his phone. So he's like, "Well, what do you do now?" So, "Well, just look me up and add me, and I'll take it from there." He's like, "Okay, cool." So, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see we'll see if he actually gets it, you know, but. I'm, I'm hoping for the best. Right. If he's there, I'm there. It's all good. Yeah, so we're, we're going to, hopefully he gets it worked out and adds me so I can get him on Skype here. So, nice. But uh, hopefully that works out. So next up, we have a brand new song, which I know this, they weren't on the show as well. At least you said they did. It's a band called Red or Dead. Yeah, we haven't got a date, but we've got to get them on, actually. Yeah, definitely. They're well up for it. And this song is called In America. <laughs> Dig this. New music charity. Yeah. <laughs> Won't be 
All right, nice. that was Red or Dead within America, and man, that was a, a kind of a, that was a really cool song, very catchy, and uh, it, uh, um, yeah, it was like kind of old school, kind of sixties, seventies sort of thing. And uh, just a little side tip here: we're uh, welcoming uh, welcoming uh, Mike G to the show. Hey, how's it going, guys? What's happening, Mike? Hey, not too much. Enjoying the uh, program so far. But well, since I'm on Skype, I can't hear your stuff anymore, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like we're going to have to call uh, uh, Mike back because uh, Mike R just got cut off here. So uh, Now you got me. One second here. Like, Let me uh, like try to get Mike back on the line. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I really enjoyed that tune. That was a really good tune. Yeah, man. Let's get Mike's 